Today, we're going to examine some of the not-so-subtle differences in the marketing for vegetables versus processed meat. As a kid, you can expect to see your heroes peddling this stuff on television. School is so boring and repetitive, who wouldn't want a little bit of excitement? I personally remember eating a lot of Slim Jims, but I don't remember them tasting very good. It must have had something to do with the marketing. Let's take a look. Blowing out all the light fixtures and shredding a library into confetti? As a boy growing up, there's no way you're not on board with that. But what's in this crap? What goes into this stuff? The packaging calls it a meat stick. And meat there is, depending on your definition. Most processed meats use the bottom three categories of beef. Utility, cutter, and canner. They come from older cows with less marbling. Conagra wouldn't tell us which type they use, but go ahead and use your imagination. The beef base is filled out with mechanically separated chicken, the pink extruded paste used in some chicken nuggets. Just a reminder that processed meat causes cancer. As little as 50 grams per day of processed meat increase the risk of colorectal cancer by 18%. Based on 800 studies, 22 experts from 10 different countries. If it's not healthy, wouldn't it be irresponsible to pick children's athletic heroes and have them endorse these products? They must have stopped doing that back in the 90s with Randy Savage, right? Watch. The cornerstones of any serious fitness program are exercise, diet, sleep, pectorals, and hair. All of which are part of working out with Sasquatch. And protein pack Jack Link's jerky. Protein, amino acids, good for the hair muscles. Fan! Considering the NFL prides itself in its players being great role models, do y'all see anything wrong with them doing direct marketing for products known to cause cancer? Now seriously, I tried to find some hyped up promotions for vegetables, and this was the best thing I could come up with. I'm just saying, do you question your perceptions or just accept them without objection? No wonder that broccoli can't compete with Slim Jims. Where's the exploding light fixtures? Sasquatch? Librarians getting blown out? Where's my boys from the NFL? They out marketing cigarettes? Because I can't see them representing for vegetables. Y'all are not representing? Hmm? No hype? To be completely fair, I found a billboard with Cam Newton holding a carrot, but the overlying trend here is much larger influencing forces. 